Greetings and salutations, guys. Oh, is this thing recording? How is everyone doing today? We're all doing fantastic. It is Friday, and this is um, part one of our live sale today. It's um, second part of the garage sale, I guess, series. And I um, have <laughs> a bunch of home decor goodies for you guys today. I still have a couple things left over from yesterday. Not very much. Um, but I have so many things today. I have a bunch of different like ceramic vases, bowls, um, mugs, uh, like decorative things. And oh yeah. So lots of fun stuff like that. And Vadrian is sending me. What is this? Wait, what are those? Oh, those are cute. Are those orange Crocs or are those fake Crocs? Oh, no, those aren't Crocs. Vadrian's at the thrift store right now, actually, <laughs> sending me photos of stuff that they're seeing. <laughs> Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Ellen. How are you today? Happy Friday. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. I'm sweating. It's another warm day, and I was in the garage running in and out. And I've been also trying to, like, wash some of the, like, vases and stuff because they're, like, they've been in the garage. So they're kind of dusty. Um, some of this stuff is pretty big, so this is going to be intense shipping. But I would rather have one of you guys have it than me trying to figure out something or do with them otherwise because these would be crazy to ship to the philippines because they're so big and they would take up way too much space um but yeah they're really really cute though a lot of pottery barn a lot of william sonoma um late i have some lake russe i have like anthropology mugs um and stuff like that hi hypatia hi marjorie hi guys but how's everyone's day so far? Did anyone do thrifting? Go thrifting today? Did anyone, like, find any good stuff? I had to run a couple errands today, and I did run to, um, Lineage Trading really quickly. So I did pick up a couple things from there, but I think I'll save that stuff for later, unless you guys want to see. It's not a lot, just, like, I got, like, two pairs of shoes, I got a bag, um, And yeah. <laughs> but hi guys. Did anyone do anything fun today? The kids last day of school is next week. And there's just like so many activities going on right now. It is crazy. And then Cade has his graduation next week, which is very, ex or not graduation, I think it's called promotion um, from junior high to high school. So that's going to be fun. Oh, I need an outfit still for that. What am I going to wear? That's next week. And then Zach and Elizo have the last day of school. And I think I'm going to be helping in Elizo's class on the last day of school for the last day of school party. So that should be fun. And then I think my mom also wants to have an end of the summer or like end of the school year like, party for the kids, which I think might be this coming Friday or something. So that's going to be intense also. So I think there's a lot of stuff that's going on next week. But I still do plan on having a couple sales next week as far as, um, like, the garage sale stuff. Um, maybe not as intense it has, as it has been, like, yesterday and today. Um, maybe I might just consolidate everything into, like, just, like, one big sale sale next week um i went to see fx yesterday oh no wait what's fx hipatia what's that shark thing wait you that can goes into the water Oh, <laughs> the baby would love that. Actually, I feel like that'd be really cute. You can have this. You can have it chase the baby. Is it like remote control? That's really cute. I thought it swam. I was like, I want it. 
<laughs> that would be so cool. Uh, but yeah. Oh, if someone could help me think of a giveaway question too. I lost the giveaway, but um, we'll announce the giveaway winner at the end of part two of today's live sale, which will be later on tonight. I think that one starts at nine. Oh, Fast and Furious. Okay. Oh, so wait, it wasn't good? Is I heard that was going to be the last one. Today was the last day this year. Oh, Marjorie. That's so cool. He's going to be a senior next year. That's crazy. Senior year was... It was pretty fun, though. I'm like one of the few people that kind of enjoyed... I, I, I enjoyed high school, I think. It was a lot of fun. So you don't recommend uh, Fast and Furious 10, Hepatia? It wasn't good. I kind of wanted to see it because I do love the Fast and Furious franchise in general. But my favorite is still Tokyo Drift. I love that one for some reason. That one was a fun one. I think John, that was also John's favorite too. Oh, Marjorie. <laughs> Um, oh, if someone can help me think of a giveaway question too, we're gonna have two quests or two ways to enter today, um, and then, like I said, we're gonna be announcing the winner at the end of today's second live sale, which is at nine, and then tomorrow we have a live sale with Hana, so that's gonna be super fun, and that's at ten p.m. Pacific time. Ooh, that's a good one, Edie. Favorite class in high school? Okay, perfect. Leave your answer right here. In the comments of this video, it was this morning's YouTube video, if you guys haven't seen that. And don't forget to give this video and that video a thumbs up, because that always helps the channel immensely, and I would greatly appreciate it. But that's a good question, Edie. I like that. Thank you. My favorite class was... I always had fun in my AP Literature class. I feel like that was the most fun for me. That was a fun class. That and... Um... My chemistry on honors chemistry class junior year, that was a lot of fun. We did a lot of cool like experiments and stuff, which I liked. And also because a lot of experiments were like food centric and I just like to eat. So there's that too. Well, it's nice to see you, Edie. I hope you're doing well. I still haven't found my little fan. I don't know where I put it. I feel like I have it inside like a bag or something that I put inside randomly. Are you finding anything else, Adrian? I'm so jealous that you're out thrifting. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm just going to wait for a few more people to trickle in and then we can get started. I was like, <laughs> Hipatia. That's hilarious. Hi, Sandra. How are you? If I'm like sweating, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I was just running in and out of the garage, um, gathering things. I had a late start again today, um, procuring things from the garage, but I have some cool stuff, um, but a quick recap, I guess, from yesterday of stuff that I still do have available, um, before I show you guys the new stuff. I, I'm not going to put numbers on these, just let me know if you guys are interested, but I still do have, these are the... Um, William or no Pottery Barn bowls they look like that. They have a nice like thick lip, which I like. It's like fun and decorative, but they're really cute. They look like flying saucers, to be honest, which is I think my favorite part about them. They're like flying saucer bowls, um, and I have seven of these, so we have those. And I think it was seven for thirty. Yeah, I think it was seven for thirty dollars, and then. I still have, uh, oh, this is the Anthropology um, Chow Bella 
carafe, the glass carafe, and has like these floral and gold accents. We have that. And I forgot how much that one was. That was either $15 or $20. And I, oh, I liked history, but my I liked um, world history, I think, more than like US history. I just don't like memorizing dates because I'm really bad with like memorizing dates. I have, I have like this thing where um, I'm really bad with time, which is probably why I'm always late. But I have the hardest time like with remembering days or like I don't even like sometimes I can't even remember what year it is. It's really weird. I don't know. I think it's like some, I think it's an actual thing that people have. I just forget the name, but I've always been really bad with dates. It's like so hard for me to remember. Sorry, I'm like trying to undo this book thing, the bookends from yesterday, because I wanted to show you guys how it looks and I totally forgot to do it last night because I was trying to organize all this stuff from yesterday. Oh also um I'll start shipping out the home decor stuff um probably next week but just bear with me because it might um stuff might take a little bit longer to get to you because I just want to package everything really well and I I think it's going to take some time because I'm going to have to get a bunch of packaging supplies and I think I'm going to need like special boxes because a lot of this stuff isn't going to fit in the regular boxes that I have. So I might have to make a couple trips to like Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. A lot of the tape, like, stuck to this. Like, the glue, residual glue stuff. Hi, Sam! Cindy! Oh, Edie. Okay. Oh yeah, do that. Oh, I was gonna tell you if you can look for one, if they have them there. I feel like this isn't working out too well for me. <laughs> Trying to take out this. Oh, here it is. I'm going to have to clean the glue residue off of this thing, but it is really, really cool. I don't know why, like, the silhouette reminds me of, like, Jane Austen or, like, Jane Eyre or something. I think it's because I used to have a book that had, like, this same kind of like look to it and all this stuff is just like glue residue so I'll have to just like clean that off I don't know what this is made out of if it's like made of stone like a soapstone or if it's like ceramic I imagine it's I don't know like it feels like a soapstone they're really heavy so I think it actually might be a soapstone but essentially, it's this is what it looks like, and then it comes out like this. And you have like one side that's the cutout, and then one side that's the sculpture. 
thing and then you just put it on either end of your book so they're bookends so they're pretty cool so that's what they look like so I guess we can start off with this I don't, I don't think I wait, did I price this yesterday I don't even remember the bookends let's see I don't did I I don't remember what the price was Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Marjorie, that's it. So these are going to be the Umbra um, Silhouette Girl Book and... Wait, what you said 15 Okay, these are just $15. And that's going to be item number one. But yeah, I just need to clean off the glue residue. But it's really cool. Ah! Come on, I don't want to get it out. There we go. There we go. Super fun. They're really modern. I like that. I used to have them in the library, but it was just taking up too much space for the books because they had, like, in order to see them, you had to, like, have them, like, taking up too much space. So I had to take it out. I needed bigger, I needed bigger bookshelves or bookcases or a bigger room for all the books. Because there's just not enough. Okay, next up, I have... This is a Pottery Barn um, large vase. It's like a has like a crinkle kind of design to it. And it's in like an off-white color. It's really pretty. And it's ceramic. It's made in Portugal. It's the inside. And yeah, it's in really great shape. Perfect for, like, even if you have, like, um, if you want to decorate with, like, branches or something, this would be really cool to you. So if you have, like, olive branches or, like, dogwood or something, um, or something with, like, florals, like, floral um, branches, too, would be really pretty. They would look gorgeous in here. But this is a large pottery barn vase. And this will be number two. Crinkle, finish, um, off white ceramic vase. And this one's going to be $20. That's going to be number two. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I used to have this one in on the island. And I had like really tall like branches inside of here. It's really pretty. All right. Next up, we got number three. And for number three, I have oh, this is a Le Creuset teapot. Um, um, it's missing the little end piece. This actually used to be ours, <laughs> like that we use like all the time in our old house. Uh, but during the move, we lost the little end piece to this, but she's in really great shape. It's a beautiful blue color. Inside is... Inside is good. I just washed it out, so it's probably might still be a little wet inside of there. Um, I don't think there's any rusting inside i'm not 100 percent certain but i don't think so like the finish looks pretty good still inside um the bottom is really nice too and the overall like exterior is in great shape the lid's in really good shape um the handle and everything it's just missing the little spout so 
Oh, it's okay, Sam. No problem. Let me just put the price on this one. It's going to be number three. This is our blue Le Creuset teapot. And it's going to say the missing the spout cover thing. Uh, and this one we're just going to do for $15. It's going to be number three. And here is the book ends. So it had the little girl is in the middle and she gets she's like a cutout. And that's how it looks when it's cut out like that. Really, really cool. Sorry for the glue residue. It's from the tape. Well I'll wash it off before we ship it out, so Oh, but Lady Badger is calling number three. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Yay! Okay, those are our bookends. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Next up, we got number four. And... This is, um, I forgot, like, I, the sticker came off when I was watching it. I don't remember what it was. It was either William Sonoma or Pottery Barn. I think it might be, I don't know. I think it might be Pottery Barn, I think. But this is a ceramic footed bowl. Um, it's in, like. It's like a buttercream kind of color. It's like a light, 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 pale, like yellow cream color. And then you can see like this is like the, um, it's like a terracotta-y color from, I think this is like the actual color that it is before it was like glazed. So just like the rim has the color and it's a beautiful footed bowl. And this was made in Italy. She's gorgeous. But I think I think it is Pottery Barn. That's gonna be number four. Pottery Barn footed bowl in buttercream off white color. And this one is gonna be $20 as well. That's gonna be number four. Really nice. And it's in really great shape. Like it looks like it's in perfect condition. Great fruit bowl. All right, next up I have um, oh, this is a really cute Starbucks um, mug, and it's black and white, and then it has like a little Tiffany blue handle, and it has two little bears on there. I think this might have been from like a Christmas or holiday collection, um, and then just it's just white on the inside, but really pretty Starbucks mug. We're going to do this one for $7, and it's going to be number five. Starbucks polar bear mug black white with blue handle. That's seven. That's gonna be item number five. And then we'll go to number six. Um, this is another Lake Group C piece. This is a teapot. It's missing the little top. But I've actually seen people just like use these as little planters and they're so cute. You can get like one of those, um, like a little potted plant and stick it inside and it's adorable. Um, or if you have like a spare lid or something, you can definitely, I, sometimes you can buy just like a single lid. But this is just a red Le Creuset little teapot and it's in that like ombre red color. And the teapot itself is in wonderful condition. There's no marks or anything on it. Um, no cracks or dings or anything. It's just missing the lid. So this is a red Le Creuset teapot. And this one we're just gonna do for, I don't know, 10 bucks. This could be item number six. Again, it's missing the lid, okay? 
So $10 for a little Le Creuset teapot. Number six. Next up, we got number seven. And for number seven, I have, this is a anthropology vase. And it's in like this um, white color. And then it has like this uh, like cool texture. And then the, the textured part of it is a little bit like darker. Like inside, I don't know. Really pretty, kind of just like it's, like, I guess it's just meant to look like vintage. It's a really beautiful vase. Um, inside. And yeah, this is Anthropology. This is gonna be number seven. White Anthropology Textured Vase. And let's do this one for $20. That's gonna be number seven. And then number eight, I have, I don't know where this is from, um, but it's just a really pretty ceramic red um, lantern. And it has the little thing inside of here. You can put like a candle inside. So really pretty. It has like this aged look to it, which is fun and it's ceramic. Um, I don't know why, like, you know how, like, strawberries are really in right now? I just, like, picture painting, like, the top, like, green right here, and then, like, making, like, a design for, like, leaves and making it look like a strawberry or something, but, yeah, it's really cute, though. We had this one, um, outside, actually, for a hot second, but it's in really great shape, still, and there's no, like wear or anything to it. It's just supposed to look aged and stuff. It's intentional. And that's going to be number eight. It's a red ceramic lantern. And this one let's do for 15 bucks. That's going to be number eight. And then next up is number nine. And let's do... Um, this is an anthropology mug. And it is the letter L. Hold on, just the little sticker is covering the print. Okay. It is this right here. I don't remember if this one is discontinued. So I'm trying to cover the light a little bit. But this is an anthropology letter L mug. Is really pretty. Doesn't have any prints or anything inside. It still has the original like sticker underneath it too. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, it's in good shape. There's no like cracks or marks or anything on it, and it's letter L. So that's gonna be number nine. Anthropology letter. L mug and this one is what's her name like Hoffman Marla Starla um Starla Starla Hoffman is the is the artist that made the design so that's um Starla Hoffman and we're going to do this one for seven dollars as well it's going to be item number nine And then next up is number 10. Oh, 
Oh, Linda's calling number nine. Oh, Elf Linda. That's perfect. Congratulations, Linda. Yay! Oh, a coach, a vintage coach Chelsea bag. Only twenty dollars. That's a really good deal. Is it made in USA or is it um, Costa Rica? I love a good vintage coach bag. I feel like I haven't had I haven't had like one that I've come across in like a hot second. Oh, I also have this really cute anthropology mug. This one is definitely discontinued, and it has just like the sub like the print is all over. Um, it's, it's really pretty floral. The background is like a light, like a green yellow, and then it just has these uh, pur like pinky and magenta and purple flower details. It's really cute. I like the little handle too. It's really nice, like a nice dainty little teacup. Um, and this is gonna be number ten. Our floral anthropology um, tea cup with purple, magenta, pink flowers. This one will also be seven dollars, but it's super cute. The design is really pretty. It has like I think those are like bluebells. I think there's peonies. Um, I forget the name of the other flowers. They're cute. All right, that's number 10. Can I move the mug out? Okay, so I got that. Okay, let me grab some more stuff really quickly. I couldn't fit everything around me. So I gotta, I gotta go grab some more stuff really fast. Oh, this is um, a really cool piece. This is a Pottery Barn um, raw iron candle stick holder, and it holds five candles. You can like change around the configuration of it, but they're all connected. Um, there's like little felt things on the bottom, and it actually has like the little pokey things up top. I don't know if you can see them. Um, sorry, there's like still some wax I wasn't able to get off on the candlesticks. But you can actually remove the little spiky things if you wanted. So, but if you're using like real candles, you can use the pokey things and it'll hold the candle like on to the plate otherwise you can remove it and then you can use like battery powered candles or whatever but they're gorgeous i think these were really expensive at pottery barn i don't remember how much they were but this is a hi kathleen number 11 our um iron pottery barn five candle Holder. And this one we're going to do for $25. It's going to be item number... Oh, no, it's supposed to be 11. Sorry. I don't know why I just put one. Okay, so that's number 11. It's really cool. It's a gorgeous piece. I want to say these retailed for either $75 or $125. But yeah, this would be gorgeous, like, in the middle of a dining table, or if you have, like, a fireplace, invite at the fireplace would be really pretty as well, or on a console would be really nice, too, and you can, like, change the orientation of it. I think it's really cool. I used to have this one on the dining table, and then we don't have a fireplace inside the house anymore. We did our old house, but 
I used to have, we have a little, um, I don't know what even to call it, like a mantle. We have like a mantle in the living room where like there's no fireplace there, but there's like a mantle underneath the TV. Like it looks like a little, like a low ledge. And I used to have that there back in the day with some candles. Hi, Kathleen. Okay, and then next up, we got number 12. Oh man, I missed putting my things in here one more time. Oh, Anthropology Teacup. Floral Anthro Teacup. Oh, it's seven. So it's 25. Okay, next up. We have number 12. Okay, let me just move this out. I'm going to go grab something else. And I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, next up, um, this is a little light-up sign that says, Hey, um, it's really cute, just plugs in, and then, yeah, it's really, I actually used to have this in my room, like, when we first moved in here, it used to be above, um, the sofa. It's really, really cute, but it just says, hey, and then you can hang it up, has little little hooks right there. You can just, um, I just used the command hooks or whatever, and it was perfect. Um, but yeah, super fun. And it's going to be number 12. And it's going to be our Hey um, Neon Light. And this will just be 10 bucks. It's going to be number 12. Okay, and then number 13 is going to be Okay, I don't know. Oh, Cindy's calling number uh, 12. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay! Uh, 13, while we're on the word, hey, this is a, um, this is a telephone, and it's really cool, it's like a metal telephone, um, but it has, like, the regular push button. This is actually a Pottery Barn phone, uh, and then you just plug in the thing back here. I don't know how many of you guys still have a landline. Um, we haven't had a landline since we moved into this house, but I, I know I know a lot of people still do, but it's really cool. It does work. Um, really, really cute. It's Pottery Barn, and yeah, metal. It has, like, you can change up different things. Bringer, different, two to different tones, and the receiver volume, and... Very, very cool. So it looks like a vintage phone, like a rotary phone, but these are, you just push the buttons. Even just decoratively, this would be really fun. I actually have, I don't know if I still have it. Did it, did I sell it? I, uh, I used to have um, this really cute, uh, like a vintage rotary phone, and it was made of stone. I think it was like a jadeite or something. It was really, really cool. I don't know if I still have it. I don't know if, it, if I sold it a while back. But this is our silver metal pottery barn um, phone. I think this is called the Grand Phone from Pottery Barn, I think. Hold 
but I think they actually still sell it. Um, let's see. Pottery Barn Grand Phone. Oh, yeah. It's uh, $79. The metal, the silver one. The in brushed chrome. Uh, uh, at Pottery Barn. So, pretty cool. We're just going to do this one for 15 bucks if anyone's interested. And that's going to be number 13 Fifteen dollars for our pottery pottery barn phone. You missed your landline, Kathleen. Um, I honestly don't miss our landline because, like, the few years leading up to when we moved, we would get so many like just random phone call things, like telemarketers. Um, it looks like oh, Hippatia called that one. Number thirteen is going to you, Hippatia. Ooh, a lot of you guys wanted this. I actually see these, like, more, like, like actually, like, kind of, not super frequently, but I feel like I see them almost, like, every few months, and I never buy them, because I was like, I have one. But I'll pick them up if you guys want them. Um, but yeah, this is super duper cool. You're going to love it, Carmen. Or Hepatia. Radio is the one that got it, right? But yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing that you can tell between those. Um, between the fake ones, Levon. Because I feel like a lot of people fall trapped to those when they see them at garage sales. Okay. Patia. Alright, 14 is up next. Oh, let me move my sign. Okay, next up, okay, this is just a, like, a cool, like, decorative piece, but this is a, um, decorative camera, sorry, I think, just have to screw this thing back in. This thing, like, actually comes apart. But this is a, it's like a metal camera. It's just decorative. It's really cute. Um, yeah, I don't know where it's from. I think it was either like a, it might have been either maybe Pottery Barn, maybe Crate and Barrel, or Z Gallery. I think I'm leaning towards Z Gallery though, because I think this is actually, I think this might be a Z Gallery piece. But it's a really cute metal camera object just decorative um doesn't do anything else but this thing does unscrew so that's the only reason it's loose because i had it unscrewed in storage but number 14 this is our metal camera decorative object and this one let's just do this one for 12 dollars that's going to be number 14 Oh, Marjorie, I'm sorry. Oh, decoration is perfect, Hipatia. I used to have it um, on, what is it called? We used to have it in the library next to the, next to a little chair. But it's super duper cute. Oh, Hipatia's calling. Congratulations, Hipatia, number 14, the little camera. Thank you. All right. Next up, I need to I need to go retrieve another box. But let me actually. The box. I'm gonna leave your stuff inside here. She's gonna get some of this stuff out of the way. I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm on the fence about selling this one because I kind of like it. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it for now because I kind of just want to use it for a couple photos. But it's like a crinkle, it's a ceramic crinkled can vase. It's really, really cute. And it's just like a white ceramic. And it's like a stud again. Um, I'm just, I'm going to keep it for now. I, I think I will eventually sell it, but I just want to use it in like a photo or something. Um, this next piece though, this is a Liadro and... This is, it's a Liadro piece. It's like a little sign thing, and then it's signed. Um, it does have a little crack, though, right here on the side. It's, like, cracked. But you can't, like, you can't really see it from the front. There's, like, a hairline crack right there. And then on the side... It has, like, a little piece that's, like, missing. Uh, the back looks like a seashell. And, but it's a Liadro, like, little thing. Um, I know a lot of people, my mom used to collect, like, Liadro statues. Not anymore, though. And, no, we just, we just have them, like, in the garage somewhere. Uh, this is going to be number 15. Wait, Hipatia, the, um, the soda can vase. I used to have the little trash bag vase, but I don't remember if I, like, the not trash bag, like, the, the crinkled paper bag vase. I don't remember if I sold it or if I still have it. But that one made it into a lot of photos. That was one of my favorite vases. Um, Liadro. Um. Statue. And I'm just going to sell this one for five bucks if anyone wants it. Um, it does, it is damaged. But I know these are pretty expensive, even just for like this little thing. But yeah, it is cracked right there, which is a bummer. This is the, oh, this Liadro Collector Society is the sign or whatever. Oh, <laughs> Ipa, do you remember it? That was, like, my favorite. I love that. I don't even know where it is. I don't remember if I sold it or if it ended up in a box somewhere. I hope it ended up in a box somewhere because I think I would still like it. But um, I'm a hot mess, and I don't remember where I put it. All right, next item. Uh, this is a little, uh, what is it called? A carousel piggy bank. And what's really cool is that when you spin it, the little horses go up and down. It's really cute. It is just missing. Oh, I did sell it. Okay. Now I'm sad. I don't remember selling it. Maybe it was, like, too traumatizing for me. <laughs> I think I went into my glass vase phase, and I was like, I just need to get rid of all these ceramic things. Um, but now I want it back. I know that MoMA, is it MoMA? Um, one of the art museums or whatever makes them. The one I had, though, I don't think it was a MoMA vase. It was just like a rand, like, I don't remember who makes it, but I know MoMA makes one. Hi, Brittany. Uh, but yeah, so this, it's missing the little bottom piece. The retail of this guy is like $80. It's like metal. And I don't know, you can just like tape it up on the bottom or something so you can still use it. Um, but yeah. I know these. this thing is pretty expensive, but it's really cute. Even just decoratively, it's really fun. Um, this is going to be item number 15. So this is our... Um, metal carousel piggy bank and it has the missing closure at bottom and this one let's just do this one for 10 bucks if anyone's interested it's number 15 yeah Hipatia you know I actually know someone that found that vase and I was like oh man but the MoMA one I think is like a white ceramic 
And then the one that I found, it was like, actually looks like a paper bag. Like it was brown and it had like a, like a matte finish to it. It was really cute. What's wrong with me? Why did I sell that? I hope I find another one. Carousel. It's so cute. I need to show this to Eliza. I think he'd just sit there for like hours just going like this. Because he loves just like little things like this. But alas, he's currently at gymnastics. Alright, 16 is up next. I need to put that down. Okay. Um, let me gather. Oh, are there two number 15s? Vadrian didn't tell me that. What was the other number 15? I don't remember anymore. Oh, Leandro. Okay, how much was that again? Five bucks. Thank you. I'm just going to make this one number 16. Okay. So this is number 16 instead of 15. There you go. Metal Carousel Piggy Bank. Perfecto. Uh, next up, this is a vintage Pyrex. Um, I don't know the name of the print. I didn't even look it up. But I have this vintage Pyrex. I remember, like, um, I remember someone, like, had, like, asked me to buy this, like, years ago, I think when I posted it on Instagram, and then they never got back to me after I bought it, so, um, I think there was, like, a bunch of them, but I don't, I think I sold most of them already, but this is a vintage Pyrex, if you guys know the name of the print, you can comment it, but it's in great shape, um, there is a little bit of, like, loss of the print, I guess, just right there, you can see it on this flower, but it's, in pretty good condition. Um, there's no chips or anything in it. And it is a 1.5 liter. Is that what that says? I think. Bowl. Yeah, it's a really pretty design. I like this little, I like this floral print. I think it's really pretty. Uh, so this is going to be item number 17. This is our... Um, Pyrex bowl with flower design, and we're just gonna do this one for ten bucks. That's gonna be item number seventeen. I think I have more Pyrex. I think it's just hiding from me somewhere inside the garage. I probably have like a box of Pyrex because I went a little Pyrex crazy once. I I know I sold some of it, but I think I do have more, just like hiding somewhere inside the garage, inside of some sort of box or something. Okay, next up, we have... Um, okay, I need to get some more stuff. So I'll be right back. Um, oh, but really quickly, I mean... Does anyone know if you can actually use winter pipes? Um, 007, I think you can actually use it. I don't think um, Vintage Pyrex has lead in it. I know that Vintage Pyrex or older Pyrex is better than new Pyrex because they changed the way that they make it. And a lot of Pyrex now, um, like the new stuff, if it goes from hot to cold too quickly, it explodes. So... I think, like, people actually do, like, vintage or older Pyrex better than new Pyrex. Especially, like, the glass. Um, like, the glass measuring cups and stuff. I hear, like, the new ones explode if they go from hot to cold too quickly or something. So, um, But really quickly, before I go grab something else, I do have... These are uh, Coach like little loafers in this beautiful green color with the brass details right there. Um, the left shoe has a little bit of a scuffy right here at like the trim, like the this raised section right there. 
Um, it's not like super obvious, just like a little at the very tip right there. Um, but they're not noticeable unless you're looking pretty hard. Um, I think I can like, I even might be able to just color match it. So I'll fix it if you, if anyone gets it, I'll make it look good. But other than that though, like the shoes are in pretty great shape. There's not even too much wear on the bottoms. These are in a size six and a half and they are some, some beautiful coach loafers Here's the back. The insides are also nice. Oh my gosh. Nice and clean. I'd be happy to pay for you, Harley. Okay, so this is number 18. This is our green coach loafers with brass chain details, size 6.5. And these are going to be how much for you, Okay, we're going to do these for $50, but they're super cute. They're in really great shape. And I will just, I'll, I'll color match the little scuffy thing, but it's, they're super cute. But yeah, they're six and a half. I'm sorry. They're, if they're not your size that, you're, that you guys have. I wish my mom would really like these. She hasn't seen them yet. Uh, but she'd be sad too because she would love these shoes. But she is an eight and a half also. So, yeah. So that's number 18. What's, what size are these? Oh, these are 37. Hi, Don. How are you? Um, I actually have these shoes right here. And these are Charles and Keith. They come in the box and they're really really cute they're they have like the clear two clear bands and the black uh, band right there with a the little bow <coughs> oh, excuse me and they're like a natural color like an off-white black polka dots and then yellow polka dots And both shoes are in really great shape. They're super duper cute. These are a size 37. Nice chunky heel. Heel height is probably like three or four inches. Let's check it out. Um, they're about three and a half inches um, in height. But these are Charles and Keith. They're in pretty good shape, too. They don't have, like, very much wear at all. Like, look at the bottoms. They're in pretty great shape. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I'm probably covered in dust because I've been in the garage. Okay, this is number 19. And... This is our Charles and Keith sandals um, with black and yellow polka dots, size 37. With 3.5 inch heel. And these, let's just do these for 20 bucks if anyone's interested. $20 for our Charles and Keith little shoes. They're cute. Okay. Those are just the two shoes that I have right now. I just got them um, today. So, just wanted to show you guys if anyone's interested in those. Oh, I never watched Seinfeld growing up. I was... I watched Friends and Will and Grace. Um, I was weird. I The reason I didn't watch Seinfeld was because I didn't like the coloration of the show. 
I thought the colors were too, like, they weren't vibrant enough. So I was just like, ugh. Okay, let me grab a couple more things, and I will be right back. Okay, these are just like super random. Friends, Frasier, and, and, oh, Sex in the City. I never, I never really watched Sex in the City. Mm -mm. I did watch like the move, like, wait, did I watch one of the movies? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I love Pivot! Pivot! That was from Friends. I love that episode. That was when they were trying to get the sofa upstairs, right? That was so funny. My favorite episode is still the episode uh, where um, they... Oh, this was the Coach Green Loafers. How much are the loafers again? They're loafers, not slippers. I also like the Unagi episode. No, but the Pottery Barn episode was so funny. Huh? What about it? Wait, they have that? Where? We were on a break. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually... Wait, should, do you guys want me to, like... What number should we go till... I am, um, I'm going to be back again at 9. I need to get some more stuff out of the garage. Oh, those are so cute. You guys, look at this. Vader just sent me these cups. These are these Starbucks tumblers, but they're only in Thailand. And they are yellow, and they have little elephants. <gasps> Hipatia, the episode is so funny. Where he gets his teeth, like, whitened, and they literally, like, glow in the dark. And then he wears those, um, those black leather pants. And then they, like, he, like, gets really hot or something in them, right? When he's at that, like, he's on a date at that girl's house. And then he takes them off, and then he can't get them back on. And then he, like, tries to put baby powder on so he can slide them back on. Oh, my gosh. That was such a funny episode. Um, I know so you're gonna have to find someone in Thailand. Okay, um, I haven't been able to polish this, but the brand is um Tauli T O W L E. Um, this is a silver plated bowl. Um, I can't find my silver polish stuff. But, yeah, it's Towley, T-O-W-L-E, silver-plated. Um, you can probably just buff it out, but I'll just do this one for, like, a good price. This is the Towley silver-plated bowl. We're going to just do this one for, I don't know, 15 bucks. 
That's going to be number 20. <gasps> Kirsten! Oh! Your parents left? Do you miss them already? Did you have... Well, all that matters is if you had fun with them, because... It's always fun to have your family around. Kathleen, you probably do. It's a cool bowl. It's really pretty. At one point, I think I did have this polished um, when I first got it, but it has since become unpolished. And it needs a good polishing. It has tarnished a lot. Okay, next up, um, this one is kind of random, but it's, like, really, really cute. This is from 1994. So, is that, like, vintage yet, or do you have to wait 30 years? I don't know. Um, but it's literally still brand new. Uh, it's still, like, wrapped up in the original, in the original plastic. And this is a, uh, a peckle little, uh, like, diary. It's a diary. So he has a little lock, the key, there's even a little book charm, or book charm, book, uh, book, what is it called? Book. Bookmark! Oh my gosh, my brain is broken, and Vadrian keeps trying to say that they love Peckle. Do you want it? <laughs> Vadrian? Are you sure? No, it's a little diary. You want it? No? Alright. Oh, well, that's good to hear, Kirsten. Yeah, Kathleen, I... I'm not really good at polishing silver, either. But this is from 1994. Uh, yeah. Sanrio. This is gonna be number 21. Senrio Peckle uh, Diary, new with box from 1994. And how much are we doing this one for, Vidrin? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 20 bucks. Brand new in box, vintage Peckle Diary. I feel like this is like a Depop thing. Like, people would love this on Depop. <laughs> Here we do at least sister of a dad. That's hilarious. All right, so that is number twenty-one. Oh, okay, so it's definitely not vintage. Why did I think it was thirty years? So it's not vintage yet, but it's close, ish. It's more than halfway there. Okay, that's number 21. It's our Peckle Diary. I think this used to be mine. I just never opened it. Like, I think, like, um, I got it as a gift or something, like, when I was a kid. Because Peckle was my favorite. And I love, like, stationery. But... I bet, like, my mom wouldn't let me open it because it was, like, wrapped up or something. And I just never opened it ever after all these years. Because we have, like, some Sanrio stuff that we never opened. And it's, like, I think I actually sold one of those things. It was, like, a Pachaco vintage, like, set. And it was, like, still in the paper. Sister of a Down 20 Years. <laughs> is that, like, no, but I think, it's tw I think 20 Years is clothing... I think. And then, like, anything that's not clothing is probably, like, 40 years then. Or is that, like, furniture? I have no clue. Adrian does not know. Uh, next up is 22. It's not... <laughs> it's the Pickle Diaries. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I randomly have this guy. This is Buckbeak from Harry Potter. Uh, he's Brand new, so it's like the tag on him. He's it was originally twenty five bucks, uh, but this is Buckbeak the Hippogriff from Harry Potter. He has his little collar, and yeah, I actually think we have like three of these, so we're letting one of them go. 
this is um, Harry Potter Buck Beak. I think that's his name, right? Buck Beak. Um, stuffed animal. And how much are we doing Buck Beak for, Adrian? Uh, we're doing for seven bucks. He's new with tags. He's not scary. He's a hippogriff. He's regal. You should use him to scare the baby. Not the tiny baby. The loud baby. Is he not there? Did you get that shark? Oh, he should have gotten the shark so you can chase him with it. It would be funny. Alright. Um, oh, I'm right? Okay, Buckbeak. Yes. Did I spell his name right? That was 22. Buckbeak. Super random, I know. It's like, we have so many stuffed animals. I think I'm just gonna... I can bring them to... Um, what's that store called, Adrian? Eco... Eco Town? Oh, Lady Badger's Call 22! Yay, Lady Badger! <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Badger. You're gonna get Buckbeak! Are you a Harry Potter fan? Or do you, do you know anyone that's a Harry Potter fan? We literally have, like, so many. All three of the boys really love Harry Potter. And then every time any of them has, like, a birthday... And then their friends get them gifts. They always get them Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> and we have like so many multiples of things. It's crazy. Alright. So that was 22. And then 23 is up next. Um, I have this letter N. Anthropology cup. This one is no longer being made. This is retired. It's in this blue paisley with a letter N in like a goldish, tannish color. I love that it has this little rest right here for your thumb when you're holding it. But it's really cute. It still has like the sticker on the bottom. Um, it has little speckles on the inside and underneath. It's really cute. This Oh, grandsons. That's perfect. I'm a serious. <gasps> really, Angela? That's so cool. I love Harry Potter. And my all my nephews love Harry Potter. Zachary finished all the books this year, and he read them so quickly. He read them in, like, a few months. I feel like he read them all in, like, two or three months. And I'm trying to get Eliza to start reading it, but he just likes to read books about... Um, he's He likes to read nonfiction, so he likes to read books about astronauts, outer space, um, ducks. Uh, he always, like, borrows the most random books from the library. Like, he bought, he borrowed a book about, um, what are they called? Platypuses? Platypi? Is it platypus? I think it's platypuses. And because he loves watching uh, Phineas and Ferb, and then uh, Perry is a platypus. That's on that show. And he wanted to learn about platypuses, so he got that. And he would just, like, he always gets the most random books. <gasps> oh, all the Hufflepuffs! Linda, are you a Hufflepuff? Yes! That should be tonight's question. Like, what house are you in Harry Potter? Kirsten, he, he seriously wants to become an astronaut. And he loves to go to gymnastics because he calls it his astronaut training. So it's really, really cute. Um, so this is our blue anthropology letter... And mug with paisley design. And this one, uh, let's bring that down to seven bucks. That's gonna be number 23, $7. Okay. And then 24 is, um, I'm a Gryffindor. Zachary is a Slytherin. Cade is a Gryffindor. Uh, my sister, actually, my sister's, uh, I think she's a Hufflepuff or is she a Ravenclaw? I don't remember. I just know that she wasn't um, Slytherin or Gryffindor. But I think my sister might be a Hufflepuff. And then my brother, 
I honestly don't remember what he is. He might be a Ravenclaw. That's really uh, that. That's gonna be later. That's gonna be tonight's question. I think that's really cute. Um. Next up. Oh, this is a Kate Spade letter A mug. Um. I think it has. Yeah, it has a little a couple spots where there's like some color loss. Um, from the black background, you see like those white speckles. Um. So, it also just has, like, this cool, like, green banding inside. So, I'm going to do this for, like, cheap. <gasps> Kathleen, no, I didn't. Um, let me check. Let me just put this one up. So, this is our Kate Spade um, for Lennox letter A mug. And we're just going to do this one for five bucks if anyone's interested. That's going to be item number 24. Kathleen, where are you? Let me see. Um, Kathleen, did you wait? Did you send an email or did you send a message on? Um, oh my gosh, my nose! I'm about to sneeze. Uh, was it on Instagram. Ooh, Dawn, congratulations! Yay! Yay. Oh, wait, you sent it today? Oh, I didn't see it. Um, let me hold on. Let me see. Let me go through my messages from today. Okay, no, Kathleen, I didn't get it. Can you send it to me again, please? Oh, yeah, Kathleen, that's no problem. I didn't see it. Maybe it went to my, like, junk email. But yeah, you can definitely cancel them, Kathleen. Vadrian will, um, will write that down. Yeah, we'll take that off your invoice and we'll, we'll keep it as a credit for you. Those were, okay, the vintage highball. Hold on one second. Let me just go grab them. I don't remember if someone else wanted them. Okay, these are still available then. Oh, that's perfect, Ben Don. Yay, I'm sure she's going to love it. Um, so these are still available. I have a set of four of these vintage crystal um, highball glasses. They're really pretty. I, I, really, I got them because the, the design looks like the Dior Canage design. They're really pretty. A set of four. So this is going to be number 25. How much are these, Adrian? 25. Okay, so this is going to be number 25. Ooh, oh, Don, that, cake, that plate was really pretty, huh? The cake stand? Okay, so that's number 25, are these guys. Let's leave them here. Okay. Um, and next up, we have number 26. Oh, I need to grab some more stuff. 
I'm already out of stuff. Oh, Sandra's calling him. Congratulations, Sandra. <laughs> 25, going to you. Okay, let me, I'll be right back. Let's kind of move. And I'm going to put these in Sandra's box. Alright guys, I got a couple more things. I think we might end the sale for right now after these items. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, then I'm gonna go get ready for the sale we have at 9. Cause I was like not prepared again as per usual for this stuff. But um, this is number 26. And, okay, these, I used these for years in the kitchen as our drying racks, and they're, like, really so good. They're actually supposed to be for, um, for baby bottles <laughs> and stuff, but they look like grass. They're, like, these little plastic things, and then you can just, like, put the bottle or whatever, like, upside down right there, and then everything trickles out and then it dries. So uh, I'm selling the set. They're from a brand called Boon. And then you can even buy like little accessories to put inside of there. Like there's little, you can get like a little tree thing to dry like the like the little nipple things from the bottles and stuff like that. Um, but I think these are actually pretty expensive. But you're gonna get a set or two. They're the large size also. I just like them because they look like grass. You can even put plates inside of here, and then I'll just, like, do them like that, and then they stay. So it's really cool. Um, I just don't use them anymore because I would always have to take them off the counter for other stuff, but I love them. Oh, Sandra, that's awesome. Is it, I think it's a smaller one. I think the larger ones are like 25. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the pair of these for like 10 bucks. Um, I think the larger ones are like 25 each. Yeah, they're for the baby bottles. They're really cool. They're really great. I used them for plates and stuff for the longest time. Uh, so these are the Boon Drying Racks Large set of two and we're just gonna do these for 10 bucks they're fantastic the little grass things like these come out too so you can like wash and sanitize everything i i don't know if you can i you might be able to put them in the dishwasher i don't remember but yeah that's these Let's see if anyone 
But like those. Oh, Vayron, does your do you do you want them? For the baby? No. Okay. Um. Next up is twenty-seven. Wait, where's the stuff? Oh, that I got. I literally... Oh, there, over there. Oh, Suzanne! Hi, Suzanne! Is this your first time here? I don't remember. Hi, Suzanne! Welcome to live sales. My link, or the, my email is right there. I don't remember if you purchased anything before, but if it is your first purchase, thank you so much. Um, welcome to the Thrift Squad. Just make sure to send me an email right there, then we'll send you an invoice at the end of the live sale today. Um, but congratulations... Oh, is that you, Susu? Okay. I was like, wait a minute. It sounds familiar. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I got two more things, and then I'm going to go eat dinner, then I'll be back again at 9. Um, but I have another brand new Harry Potter thing. Tell me why we also have, like, three of these. But this one, I saved it, and it still has the, like, the container and everything. So this is the sorting hat. This is the mechanical one, his head, like, it moves and it talks and all that stuff. His mouth opens and closes. So Harry Potter um, sorting hat right here. We're just going to do them for 15 bucks. Um, new with box. And we're going to do them for $15. Okay, Susu. I'm going to try to remember that that's you. The other one. But I, I think I can remember. Okay, uh, that's 27 I think? Yeah. Is that cheap, Adrian? How much are these sorting hats normally? It's okay. Angela, congratulations! Yay! You're gonna get the sorting hat! Woo! I was like, Peter, don't worry, I think I have more of you if you want one. Um, Kathleen, I'm gonna have to look for them. I didn't find those boxes that have my crystal in it yet. I think they're like in the back of the garage, so I don't know if I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to make it over there today. Um, but congratulations, Angela. Also, I hear I spelled Potter wrong, but you guys you guys know. Okay, um, twenty eight is next. Oh, Susie, that's actually perfect. They're so good for that kind of stuff. Like, that, I ought, like I used these for years. I don't know if you guys remember, like, if you guys watched my old vlogs, we had these, like, next to the thing for years, but, like, yeah, perfect for drawing stuff. Just put it upside down, let the water trickle out, and then you're good. Oh, Linda, I do have some stuffies. Yes. Um, no SLGs. I am going sourcing tomorrow, so hopefully I find some SLGs for tomorrow night when I have the live with Hana at 10. Um, key charms. I don't have any key charms right now either, but I'll, I'll, I'm on the lookout. All right. Um, last item of the night. This is, um, <laughs> okay, this is from Restoration Hardware. It's crazy. This thing was $125 from Restoration Hardware stuff, like the little tag. But it's a, it's supposed to be like a found object or something, I guess. I don't know. But it's a metal, like little birdcage um, thing. And this thing, like, it opens and closes. It unscrews right here. And it's, it's supposed to be like a lantern. So you can put a candle inside and then light it up. You can hang it. But it's really cute. It's black, metal. Uh, it's in great shape. Has little ball feet on the bottom. Um, there actually is like a little bit of, what is that called? Um, it's a little resting, kind of resting right there and right there. So it's a couple of places where there's rust. And I think there's a couple of like little things inside. Um, you could probably like sand it down a little bit and then spray paint it and then it'll be good to go. But I, it's just a really cute little birdcage can or um, 
lantern. Lido looking for fishing reels. <laughs> no gold coins, unfortunately. Um, you know what? I think I do have baseball cards somewhere. But I have no clue where they are. I think I actually put them back in storage because I was hoarding them. I have like a bunch of baseball cards, old comic books, um, and like trading cards in general. But I put them back into storage. Well, I'll let you know if I ever find them again. I know I have baseball cards though somewhere. I wish I had gold coins. This is our found object, black um, bird cage, candle, um, what is it? Candle holder. What does it say on the bottom? Oh, lantern. And we're just going to do this for, I don't know, 10 bucks. That's going to be number 28. Um, but yeah, there you go. Little birdcage lantern. <gasps> do you guys like candles? I have like a, a set of birch wood candles. Like they're pottery barn ones. And they're real candles. You can light them. We've never used them. I just always use them decoratively, but I haven't used them in years, and I have, like, a big box full of them. So if anyone wants those, let me know. I, like, brought them out, and I was like, why is this so heavy? Giant, it's just full of candles. So they're birch wood candles. I'll show you. Oh, okay, Linda. Actually, I will show you right now, because they are just right over there. I don't want to forget them. So that'll be number 29, then. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab them. Okay, wait, I hope this is, I hope I grabbed the right thing. Wait, are these it? Oh, wait, these aren't it. I grabbed the wrong thing. What are these? Are these fake candles? Oh, no, these are the other thing. Okay, Linda, I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, I don't know where they are. I'm going to have to look for them. I thought they were these, and then I I think I misplaced the candles. I might have put them back by accident. And I'm, it, yeah. Okay, I will look for them and see if I can find them. But I do have, like, a bunch of birch wood candles. I thought they were in that box. And I was like, wait, this is kind of light. Wrong one. So. I don't know if. My mom still wants these. I'm going to have to ask her. Because I packed them away. Because we were using them for a while. But they're... Um, what's the brand? I forgot the brand of these. I, these Oh, the Guzzini. These are from Crate and Barrel. Or not Crate and Barrel. From the Container Store. They're really expensive. But they're like these glass jars with these really nice lids. And then they go like that. Um... I'm going to ask her if she wants to keep these, but if she doesn't want them anymore, um, I'll let you guys know. These are really nice. I think, like, for one of these, it's, like, $26 or something. They're really expensive. But... Oh, Dodo Bird! Um, this is... This was actually number one, I think, from tonight. Number two. Yeah, this is the large potty barn... Crinkle finish ceramic vase. So this is a Pottery Barn ceramic vase. It's only $20 if you're interested. It's large and in charge. It has like this crinkle design throughout. And it's in like this off-white color. It's really, really pretty. And 
This is item number two, and it was $20. So if you're interested, this is still available. I also still have this anthropology vase available as well. This one is in a white. I think I moved all the other stuff that um, was still available out of the way. Ooh, what Joe Malone candle, Hypatia. <gasps> There's this candle that smells so good that we got from the Restoration Hardware Outlet. And it was like this ginormous, it was the largest candle ever. We like, we used to light that thing like every day for like almost like, I think it was a better part of a year. And it smelled so good. It would make the whole house, like downstairs, first floor of the house smell. Um... I think that candle was also $500, but I think it was, like, almost half off if you joined, like, the Restoration Hardware, like, membership or something. Like, then I think it brought it down to, like, 200 or 250 and it would actually be worth it, because it's amazing. Oh, Dodo Bird, congratulations! <laughs> so the Pottery Barn one was number two, Vadrian. And then the other one was also $20. That was number seven. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Both wonderful. Wait, do you guys want to see the other stuff that didn't sell? Um, I can go grab them really quickly. Um, I'll ask my mom about these. And then I'll let you guys know when I come back later. I feel like she might still want them. I'll be right back. Okay, I have these three things still available. Ooh, fancy. Um, this is a five candle, a raw iron candle stand um, from Pottery Barn. It's still, I think it still has the sticker. Yeah. Um... It's really cool. I'm sorry, I try to wash it, but it still has some of the wax on it. But the whole thing actually comes apart. So I think you can actually make it shorter if you wanted, um, because the whole thing like disassembles. It's just the, everything just like screws together. And it has the little needle things at the top that you can also take off too. So if you have real candles, you can put those on here and it'll stay with the needle. Or if you have like battery powered candles, you can unscrew them and then you could still put them on here but there's five pieces and you can change the orientation of them however you want they're pretty cool so the this one is still available and then i have i don't know the brand of this one but it's just a red um ceramic lantern and it has a little thing inside here to put your candle inside of that's inside of there and has a little wooden handle piece right there and then this one is a pottery barn uh footed bowl and it's in like an off like an off white kind of like buttercream color and then it has the original color of the um like i think it's like a clay that they use to make it but it's a footed bowl Oh, uh, thank you, Chris. I'm glad you guys like the home good stuff. Um, I think this one was the football. This one was 20. And then the, uh, what is it called? The five candle, the five uh, candle candle holder, the raw iron one from Pottery Barn. 
That one was $25. And then the red lantern was $15. If anyone's interested in those. Um, oh, Susu's calling number 11. Congratulations, Susu. Yay! The raw iron candle stand. That one's a really great piece. Congratulations. Uh, that one was number 11. Don't know, bird. I'm on a vase mission. <laughs> I I know I have like more. I think I have more ceramic vases. I just don't have very many crystal and glass vases because my mom is hoarding all of them, pretty much. <gasps> oh no, Susu! I'm sorry to hear that. Um, oh, Cindy's calling the footed bowl. Congratulations, Cindy! Yay! That one was number four. And that was a, um, $20 for the footed bowl. So that's uh, going to Cindy. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Footed bowl. And then this guy. And these. Okay, perfect. So we have the land. Oh, I still also do have. Um, this is the sterling silver. Towley, um, oh no, this is silver plated, not sterling silver, silver plated Towley bowl. So I still have that available. Um, the, this is what the bookends look like. This one's still available too. It's, uh, looks like this with a cutout. So it's covered in residual tape stuff. When I took the tape off, I have to clean it off still. But this guy is still available. Um, Lady or um, Lady Bedroom still looking for those white plates that I have. Um, I know they're here somewhere, but I still have the these are the Pottery Barn bowls. I have a set of seven of these. Oh, Cindy, thank you. Yes, yeah, Susu. I love uh, candles in general. We can't really light real candles anymore because these kids are crazy. But I do have a bunch of battery-powered candles that we have. Um, but this is going to be it for right now. Um, the link for the giveaway, I'm going to leave it again one more time. And then we're going to be announcing the giveaway winner um, after tonight's sale. I don't even have the item. That we are doing for the giveaway with me. Oh, whoops. That is not it. Um, so I'll show you guys what it is later on. In tonight's uh, 9 o'clock sale. Which is in like 2 hours. Uh, but that's the link for the giveaway. And the question is right here. What was your favorite class in high school? Um, thank you again to Edie for our question. And then... Um, I'll be back again in like two hours. I'm just going to go eat dinner. I'm going to go gather some more items. Um, tonight's sale, it'll, probably, it'll be more of a mixture of like home goods and then um, whatever else <laughs> I can find. I, th I'll, I might throw in some handbags and stuff too if you guys want to see that. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you guys again in a little bit. Thank you so much. I'm going to go organize all this stuff too. And invoices will be sent out for this stuff um, in the next 15 minutes. And I'll see you guys all in a few hours, okay? All right. If not, um, tomorrow, 10 p.m. is the next sale. If, you don't, if um, you're not going to be able to make it tonight, tomorrow is at 10 p.m. with Hana. It's going to be so much fun. Um, Hana is too full. If you ever see her in there, her name is too full in the chat normally. But I don't think she's here tonight. But okay. Anyway, I'm going to go eat dinner. I'll see you guys later. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage.